So I just wanted to make a, a really short, quick video. Um, uh, I'm not a, a, a you know, a, a kind of uh, fully fledged tech reviewer, you know, without, I ain't got all the fancy gear and all the rest of it. But um, I just thought I'd put this video on because it might be of some use to somebody uh, who's in my position. Um, on the left is the S21 uh, Ultra, and on the right is the S22. And the um, reason for the video really was because before I bought this, I was kind of trying to find um, some pretty kind of just down-to-earth videos that said, is it worth upgrading from the 21 to the 22? And I thought I'd just do a, uh, a video uh, of that nature. So that as you can see, the S21 um, has just been factory reset because I've got to send it back um, as part of the trading program. Um, so just... Like I say, short video, a few quick points. Um, physically, they are both pretty similar. As you can see, it's slightly bigger as the S22. Um, it's got a leather case on it at the moment, but it, it's certainly more of a, a, a boxy shape, um, which, you know, is, is, is well, sort of well publicised. Um, personally, I think the S21 is, is just about right for me that little bit um uh, it's just not quite as wide well, no no that's not exact but you get the idea and it's not got a case on but it's just a little bit wider the s22 and the rounded edges on the um 21 just make it feel that bit nicer to hold just that little bit small this this is a big phone the 22 um but you know other than that they are pretty similar you can see it's, it's a little bit it's a touch taller um but it, and, and the weight wise you know the, these are quite heavy heavy phones um the 21 actually is fairly heavy but um you know again you you, you, you kind of get used to this you know get get used to it but yeah there won't want to be any heavier put it put it that way but i guess if you're into big phones you you, you won't mind that um but then, like, just sort of like, and I'll be sort of scratching my head a bit. And part, part, part of the point of this video really is, I've had this now a week actually, a week today, um, and there's really no difference I can tell whatsoever. Take the S Pen out of it. Um, other than that, I cannot really tell any difference. I'm sort of scratching my head <coughs> why I even bought this phone. I, I didn't need it. It is like an addiction when you're sort of into phones. I'm into phones. I don't keep them that long. But the reasons for changing these phones are becoming less and less every time you do it. I mean, you know, I think back years ago and I remember I got a Nokia N95 and it it had GPS on it and it had Wi-Fi. And, you know, it was like they were massive things. You know, it was like but now you just like you've spent a little more money. And you're like, what does it actually do any better? You know, I can't really tell. This S22 of mine, it's not the um, the bottom one, it's the one above, so it's got the, the, the bigger RAM. I, I had to do that to get the RAM the same as this one, um, but it's got a bigger, um, more memory, hard drive, or whatever you call it, <laughs> storage than this one. Um, so, you know, performance-wise, I'm not one of these who like, reads the, um, what they call, does geek bench scores and <clears throat> all of that, I mean... <clears throat> you know, for what I use it for day to day, they're fine. I suppose I think what I use it for day to day, you know, a, a, a three or four hundred pound phone will be fine. Um, can't tell any difference between the two. Um, other than if I take a photograph on this one, I mean, a 22 in 108 megapixels, when it kind of like processes it, that's quicker than that one. But I mean, you know, how many times do you sort of do that? Um, Picture quality, which I mean, that's the main, you know, main sort of thing for me. I take a lot of photos of my family and whatnot. Um, I can't really tell any difference. Um, it, you know, S twenty one was good outdoors, <coughs> um, good in good lighting conditions. Um, the weak spot for me on the twenty one was in that sort of not really low light, that kind of in between light where you get a pitch with quite a bit of noise on it. I still think the 22 is the same. I won't say I've noticed really any massive improvement and I've played around with it and done different things. 
that's not to say it's not good. You know, I think it is good. Um, it's no better though than my wife's Pixel 6, which costs considerably less than both of these phones. Um, so it's amazing how, you know, it must be a lot of it, software and stuff, because, you know, you look at these Samsungs now, you know, all the cameras are chucking at it and the megapixels and all this and that, but there's still no better than her phone, which is, you know, a lot cheaper than these, both of these. Um, so yeah, again, not being blown away on anything new on the on the pictures. Um, the the one area that has improved definitely is if you use the zoom, and I'd say you go ten upwards. There's obviously some software trickery going on that's sharpening the picture, which works well. Uh, it's better than the on, on the twenty one. Um, but you know, other than that, everything's kind of. As you'd expect, you know, it's sort of script, you know, nice screen, which Samsung's do have, waterproof, you know, all you know, all of that general stuff is there. The fast charging, I've not got the the, the, the charger for it, which just sort of sickens me when you're spending this kind of money and you've got to go out and buy a charger. Um, but I've got a couple of other Samsung chargers laying around which make it say fat, super fast charging it's not the top top level but it's it's good enough when you're in the house but again that's nothing new then from the sort of you know the 21 because i've not got the charger um yeah it's it's a good phone you know there's no doubt about it it is a good phone but i say these phones now there's not a lot for them to do i just don't feel like you get anything new that new out of them for all the hype they've become a little bit they are what they are um now you know like i said the one thing what i've left out of this so far is the s pen and yeah the s pen you know, it works like i had last time i had a note it was a note nine yeah it works you know you you take it out it works it's got the stuff you the, those apps what samsung have like i've got on my tablet um but you know for me personally i, I use it you know once now and again if if my work, for example, had let me use my own phone, say for my job, it'd get a lot more use, but, but they don't. Um, you know, I could imagine if you could somehow use this as like a work phone, you know, if, if it'd be really useful for the S Pen, but I, you know, I can't, so. Um, you know, it's nice, the S Pen there, but I don't get a lot of use out of it. So, yeah, you know, look, I'm taking this to the post office to send it back. Um, and I've spent a lot of money, <laughs> you know, but like I say, why, I don't know. I think what I'd say is, you know, if you're a kind of a phony kind of person like me who likes the phones and you've got the S21 and, you you know, you're really sort of on the fence, I, I, yeah, I, I would probably say, and I'm, I'm, you know, I say I'm, I'm admitting here that I've probably made a mistake, I, I would probably say just keep what you've got. Um you know, I, I keep thinking of changing manufacturing. You know, I'm very loyal to Samsung. I've got, you know, these bits and bobs. I've got, the, you know, I've got the watch. I've got the tablet and other things. I do keep looking at some of the other manufacturers like Oppo and things. You know, you know maybe give something a go there. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. I think now to feel probably like you're getting a bump on some of these phones, I think you have to kind of wait a couple of years. Um, you know, more fool me. Um, but I say I'm stupid with it but um but yeah look it, it is what you would expect it's a really solid good phone um but not a, a massive any massive change from this um i have had a couple of teething problems i mean i'm hoping they'll just get ironed out bluetooth streaming to my car the sound's cutting out all the time and it eventually stops which that is a real pain um i've, I've had one or two just little stutters and freezes but you know it's probably say i've only had it a week but yeah look other than that not, not a lot else to say because there's not a lot else to say about it really there's not a, a ton of new features it you know it is what it is um a proven kind of recipe really um and as i say if you've got an s21 ultra and you you know i i would think long and hard about oh wait till the price maybe drops a bit or something on, on the 22 um but yeah anyway hope it may have been of some use to somebody out there so uh, have a good one